In this video tutorial, I would like to explain the procedure to dimension this mechanical part. I'll be keeping all my dimensions in a layer called dimensions. I have already created that layer and I'm going to make that as an active layer. In AutoCAD, if you want to perform a dimension on a particular plane, all you have to do is just align the UCS on that plane. Then you go to annotate tab, and then you make use of various commands to perform the dimensions. Let me first align the UCS on this plane because I would like to keep some dimensions here. So I'll use the three point option of UCS command, which is there in the view tab. So go to view tab and take three point options from here. Or else you can type UCS command and type three there to access this option. So when you go to three point option, it will ask you to select the origin point first, then X axis direction as well as the Y axis direction. So I have aligned the UCS here. Now I'll go to annotate tab. Then I'll go to dimension option. Then I'll select linear. So linear will let me perform a horizontal or a vertical dimension. So I'll just click on the first extension endpoint and the second extension endpoint. Then it will ask you to select the dimension line location. I'll pick a point over here to locate my dimension line. Okay, it has shown the dimension. But here the problem is this is not properly visible. So you have to go to the dimension style manager dialog box. Just click on dimension style manager over here. Okay, it will launch this dimension style manager dialog box. And here you can see ISO 25 as a current style. See, you know, a style controls the various parameters related with dimensions. Now, I would like to change the overall size of this dimension, which can be done in ISO 25 if you want, but I'm not going to do that. You're not supposed to change this ISO 25. Okay, so I'll go to override option. See, override option will give you a copy of an existing style and you can alter the required parameters. Now, I'll go to fit tab and I'll change the overall scale factor. Presently it is one. I'll give the value 1.5 there. So I'll type 1.5. Okay. So it has created a new style override. A style override is nothing but a change to version of an existing style. So I'm just going to rename the style override. So just double click to rename this or else you can right click and uh, select rename. Okay. So I'm going to give a new name for this. I'll call it as my new style. You can give any name. Okay, it's a new style which is created. Now just make new style as the active style. This is a current style. That means all my subsequent dimensions which I'm going to perform will appear in the new style. That means those dimension will be slightly enlarged. But what about this existing dimension? If you want to change the style of an existing dimension to the current style, you can make use of this update button over here. So you select update. Okay. Then you select the dimension to be updated. Okay. So you select the dimension. It got updated. The size got enlarged. Now I would like to perform another dimension over here. Okay. So click on dimension button and a linear and you select these two endpoints. I've got the dimension as 16 units. Now I want this text to be written outside for that. Just hover your cursor on the top of this dimension and uh, just click on it and you will see the various options appearing in this menu. Uh, select a uh, move text only and you can move just the text outside the existing object. Okay. Next, I want to perform a vertical dimension. So you select a linear from here. Then I'll click these two endpoints and I'll drag the mouse rightward. Then you can see the dimension written as 16 units. Okay. So that dimensioning is done. The next dimension which I want to perform is the distance between these two points. That means it has to be written on a different plane. So obviously you have to move the UCS and you have to keep it here. In this case, I need to change just the origin point. That means X and Y direction will remain the same. So in that case, you can make use of the origin option of the UCS command. The origin option 
will let you just shift the origin without changing the directions of x or y axis. Now I'll go to annotate tab and I'll take a linear and I'll select these two endpoints and I'll mark that dimension as 40 units over there. Next I have to perform the dimensions on the right faces. So obviously you have to align the UCS on this right face. So I'll go to view tab and I'll take a three point option of UCS command and I'll select my origin point here, x direction here and y as this midpoint. Okay, so the UCS is aligned. Now I can go to annotate tab and I'll select linear and I'll select this endpoint as well as these two endpoints and uh, the dimension line can be selected here, can be picked here. Now I want to mark the small dimension so I'll go to linear again and select my first endpoint here and the second endpoint here and uh, dimension line location over here I'll pick. Okay. This uh, dimension text can be taken outside if you want and you can uh, you know stick to the same procedure which I have done here if uh, required then I want to mark this vertical dimension but you can see that if, if you want to mark this dimension over here you have to move on to a different plane but uh, these two planes are parallel to each other so while aligning the UCS you don't have to take the three point option again but instead you can use the origin point so just go to view tab and you select origin and you select the uh, origin point as this point okay now UCS is aligned now you just go to annotate tab, tab again then you take a uh, linear and uh, you uh, uh, select the first extension endpoint as this point and second extension origin as this point and you can just select the dimensional location over here so that dimension is written. Now I want to mark this vertical dimension over here this total height I want to mark so obviously it is again on a different plane so you go to view tab and you select the origin option of UCS command and you align the UCS origin over here okay. Then you go to annotate tab and you can go to linear dimensions and you select this as the first extension line origin and this as a second extension line origin and the dimensional line can be located here. So that dimension is also written. Now you have to mark this arc okay you have an radius over here so that arc radius is to be marked. So you can go to dimension here and you select a radius option and you select this arc it will write the radius you can uh, you know pick anywhere you want to locate the radius I'll pick over here because that is a convenient location okay so that dimensioning is also done now let me dimension the top faces so you have to again align the UCS on the top face so I'll go to view tab and I'll select three point option and I'll keep my origin over here X in this direction and Y over here now I can go to annotate tab and I'll select linear and I'll click my first extension line origin over here second one over here and the dimension line location I'll pick over here so this dimensioning is written now this dimension can be written by going to continue option or chain option if you want that chain option is available over here just click on that when you click on chain option it will only ask you for the second extension line origin that means the second extension line or the most recent dimension will be treated as the first extension line for the current dimension so I'll select uh, this endpoint as a second extension line and that is written. Now if you want you can go on dimensioning like this just like uh, various links in a chain that is why it is called chain dimensioning. But in this case that's not required in fact this dimensioning is not required because this dimension is already given here. So this can be calculated by subtracting from this total length these two lengths. Okay, so if you dimension over here, that will be a redundancy. That means an extra dimensioning, which is not required. So I'll just give escape to cancel this. Now I would like to perform another dimension over here. This distance is to be written. So I'll go to linear and I'll select these two endpoints and I'll click that. Okay, that is written. Uh, now I want to mark this distance, but you can see that it is on a different plane. So obviously you have to move the origin point of the UCS okay you need to shift only the origin x and y direction can be the same so you go to view tab and you select the origin option and I'll select the origin over here and origin is taken to that point okay now I'll go to annotate tab and I'll select uh, linear and I'll select these two endpoints to write the dimension there okay then if you want you can go to continue option that is chain dimensioning you can just click on that point Okay, that's all is required. In this case, I don't have to write this dimension over here since this total length is given. 
I think I have incorporated all the necessary dimensions on this mechanical 3D model. So let me just brief it up. In AutoCAD, whenever you want to dimension a mechanical model in 3D space, all you have to do is just align the UCS on the respective planes using the various options of the UCS which are available in the View tab coordinates panel. Then you just move on to Annotate tab and make use of various dimensioning options to perform the dimension. So that's all for now and thanks for your time. In the next video tutorial, I'll show you the method to plot multiple views from a mechanical model into a single sheet of paper at different scales.